we are back with Farming Sim, and we're going to start off by saying a huge thank you to everybody in the comment section recommending what we need next for our farm, because that's how we ended up with this brand new planter. It's wider, it's what y'all wanted, 12 row, and I'm going to tell you it's perfect, and I'm going to tell you why. We can now utilize the 1,000 horsepower tractor by having the disc on the back of the tractor and then pulling that planter behind the disc. Super long setup, but it's going to work great, so I thank you. But it doesn't stop there. Y'all recommended two more things that we're going to go purchase here in a second from another farmer. So we're going to go do that. But first, let's get started because it's time to harvest some sunflowers. As you see over there, both fields are ready. We ran a poll. I asked if you wanted to combine the field or not. One more vote on not combining the field than combining it. So they say separated. There's a road down the middle and I'm fine with that. It's all good. If you guys are excited, ready to get the day started, if you could very kindly go down Give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Just like that. And we'll be good to go. So let's do it. Let's start by harvesting the fields. Because I want to disc and utilize this planter today. I want to see how that works. Have not done that before. So I'm excited to see that. So I want to get the harvesters going. First time using our big boy case harvester. With the extra wide tires. And the foldable header. I'm excited to use this thing. Have not used it yet. And then we'll get that John Deere going right behind it. And then we'll go get... What else y'all recommended for the farm? I'm excited for that too. So let's unfold this header. Brand new header. A lot wider than the John Deere also. This might be our new favorite harvester. So let's get it going on this bottom portion so we can clean this up. There it is. Oh, this is going to be so fast with this thing. So we'll probably run the John Deere on the other field until this one is done with this field. And then we'll get that disc going. That's probably the best approach, I think. Okay, this case harvester, we spent a little bit more than we wanted to spend on it, but it was definitely worth it. This thing is awesome. Okay, it's so much quicker than the John Deere 2. I love John Deere, but that, that is our best harvester by a long shot. Let's go grab the John Deere now and uh, get it started also. Gotta feed Rufus. Can't forget that. Don't let me forget about you, Rufus. Bark at me next time. There you go. There you go. Oh, also... Quickly, we're upgrading a lot of stuff. As you know, we got a new planter. We got something else coming to the farm. We're going to go check out in a second. Our next upgrade, I need y'all's help. I want some silos. We need silos. We're about to be harvesting a lot of grain. So we need some silos. So there's two spots I can put the silo in. I don't know exactly where I want it. So I need y'all's help. So we can cut out this little spot right here at the bottom. And I can allow all the water to drain out. We can fill this lake full of dirt build it up a little bit and put silos and maybe another barn here. Or we can rent that tree cutter, cut down a few of these trees, put a silo here, maybe build a road, something like that over here. So do you want to get rid of the lake and put the silos there or cut down some of these trees and put silos over here? I'm not too sure what is the best approach, but I need y'all's help. This is what I need y'all for. Help me build our farm. So let me know what you guys think on that. Let's get this harvester going and then let's go buy that new equipment. So I did like this harvester. I thought it was a really nice harvester, but now it just feels so outdated compared to this case. Um, but the case is the new model. John Deere has not came out with a new model yet. When they do, maybe we'll buy one. But for now, we're just gonna have to settle with this harvester for now. It's a, it's a little older. It, it's gonna be definitely slower than that case, but it, it's okay. It, it's just slower. We're almost done with this field and when we do, we'll utilize that new disc and planting system. See how it works on our 1,000 horsepower tractor. I'm excited for that. We are a one-man farm, so the more equipment we can use like that that gets more stuff done, the better. Double harvesters, which is really good. Sunflowers, the prices aren't exactly high. That's why I want silos, but we won't be able to build the silos today. We'll have to get those for next time using your help. So we'll probably just have to sell what we harvest today, but I want to start saving up our grain for when the prices get really high and that's when you want to sell the 4020 was a 50 50 y'all couldn't decide if you wanted to keep it or sell it we'll, i guess we'll keep it and see if we actually do utilize it but we might be getting a new tractor so i don't know if we're gonna be using it that much but in here keeping the grain truck these two we're gonna sell so we're gonna go take these to an auction or something probably see how much we can get for them we don't really use them might as well sell them so that's the plan on that but Let's go get our new equipment and tractor that you guys recommended. 
Okay, we're here at this guy's farm. We bought these from him at the grocery store. He said he had them for sale. It was perfect. It's what you guys wanted. So here we go. As you can see, a little red in there. It's a little spoiler. He said it should be open, but it's not opening. Uh-oh. I guess he locked it on me. Oh, there it goes. Well, there we go. Open this one. All right. So there it is. We got a new case tractor with the wide tires and a grain buggy. The grain buggy is also perfect because we're going to be using a silo. We got the case with the super wide mud tires. This thing looks awesome. I love John Deere, but the cases just keep looking better. I, this tractor is perfect. We've been needing both of these, a slightly bigger tractor. We've been needing a grain buggy. They just happen to be red. I don't know. I know more, more of y'all probably like John Deere than case. I'm probably in that same boat. But you can't deny, this is a really cool setup. This tractor is awesome. It's got the wide mud tires. The interior is slightly outdated. It's not as nice as that case harvester we have. But uh, it's still a really good tractor. I'm excited to use it, put it to work, use this grain buggy. We're going to go put it to work right now, actually, because our harvesters are probably full. And something else I keep saying a lot is we need to fix our entrance. It's very boring. Don't even know there's a farm here. So we need to work on our entrance, make it a little nicer. So we'll do that, too. Maybe we need to go rent like a maintainer or something like that and kind of smooth this road out. Get some gravel or something. That might be something we need to look into. Okay, awesome. They're done with this field. Good. This is a lot of sunflowers. Probably a lot of money for us, which is really good because we've been spending a lot. So if there's anything else you guys want for this farm, like always, please leave them in the comments. I love to read the comments. I love your help on what I should purchase for our farm. All right, watch out. Don't back into me. Go back into my new case. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? You're confusing me. So why do they get their hoppers full? Let's get this thing unloaded, get it hooked up to our new tractor and disc and see how it works. I haven't done this yet, so we'll see. Let's get the 4020 to pull it off the trailer, get it into position, and then we'll get our big rig hooked up. I think you're probably strong enough to get off the trailer. And if you're not, maybe I shouldn't keep you. There we go. So got that off. Wasn't too bad. Let's pull it out to the field so we got some more room. For this smaller field, this setup probably isn't the best. But for that big field, it will be. So here's this tractor. My favorite tractor um, on this farm by far. Not even close. Might need to get some more wheels for it. We'll see how it, uh, so we'll see how the traction handles with all this new setup on it. But uh, we might need to get some more wheels. We'll see. All right, let's try this out. Have not done this. We're gonna try it though. Okay, we're hooked up. Let's get it into position. Fold the back one. They're the same width, so it should work perfect. I have not tested it out, so let's see. Okay, now we just need to unfold the discs. There we go. Let's see how it works. The disc and plant at the same time. It works. Oh, look at that. Thank you, guys. This is going to save me so much time. Wow, okay. And this tractor pulls it like nothing. I thought it might struggle a little bit. Zero struggle. Okay, so this is going to take no time for this little field. And we'll get to that big field, and that honestly won't take too long either. All right, this almost feels unfair. It almost feels like I'm cheating. Oh, looks like the case is full. I'm sure the John Deere is also almost full. So let's let's hop out right here. We'll finish this field here in a second. Let's get him. Let's get him unloaded into that into that uh, grain cart. All right, I don't want to drive into the field. Um, let's just back you up. I know you can do this while driving, but I can't right now because I don't want to go into the field. Curious to see the capacity of this grain cart. Hopefully, it's a lot. I think it is. It seems like it could probably hold like three or four harvester loads, maybe even more. Let's quickly get the John Deere so he can keep going. He didn't have to stop. I know we'll probably ruin a few sunflowers here, but that's okay. All right, open it up, John Deere. All right, we got the John Deere loaded into there as well, so it is good to go. This feels so old compared to that new case we have. All right, finish this last little row and get you started on the bigger stuff. So I thank you guys for all the recommendations for our farm. It turns out I think it's going to be really good. The grain buggy, the new case, awesome, 10 out of 10. That planter, 
11 out of 10 because that setup is sick i love it love everything about that so thank you guys so until next time make sure you guys thumbs up like subscribe watch more of our videos bye